Alright, so this is going to be my first video vlog. Um, not really all that sure exactly what I'm going to talk about really. I mean, the best I can do for today is really the subject that keeps sticking out of my head. There's two really. Is one, little boys who can't seem to get it through their head that when their girlfriend is talking to another boy, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's something going on. I mean, for instance, um, the other day I was out in public, I was at a skating rink where my dad was playing hockey, and I have a friend there, and she was talking to me while her boyfriend was playing hockey with my dad. And I guess that just because she was talking to me, that instantly made it that she was screwing around with me, doing stuff behind his back. And I find it hilarious because the only thing that this man has for to fuel his fire against me is the fact that I had sent her a text message saying that I was jealous of him. Why? Because he is in a relationship with a beautiful girl who actually loves him for him and hasn't screwed him over, which is what's happened to me before in the past. Now, the ironic part is, is when he freaked out the other night, he freaked out while I was talking to her about my divorce getting advice and you know just venting but that turned into I guess in his eyes we were fucking in the bathroom that's one of the things that he came at her with and within his young age and arrogance he decided that since I was talking to her that like I said that we were fucking in the bathroom which is hilarious because it's in a public place like we could go into either one's bathroom without getting noticed uh, second, what made it even worse is when she confronted him about the entire situation, he left her ass at a gas station in my town when they live in a complete other town. The walk from here to there would have probably been at least a good five, five hour walk or so. I mean, it was a stretch and that just, it, it made me livid. I don't know, you guys can remark back to what you think of it, but that's just insane in my eyes. I don't understand how that seemed like a good plan. At the same time, I'm even just, uh, I'm confused about the whole fact that how he even got all this together. I mean, it's not the first time I've been accused of shit like this, and it's just odd that somehow everybody seems to think the littlest thing means something else. Uh, the other topic that comes to mind is uh, something that actually a friend brought up to me the other night this is life after death. Um, I don't know what you people believe in. I don't know what your thoughts are. And everybody is, as I say, I will say this now, everybody is, you know, has their own thoughts. You know what? That is fine. I am not saying any of this to try and, you know, coax you in a different direction, tell you that you're wrong or anything. Just my beliefs are life after death can consist of one of two things you can either go to heaven or you can go to hell that's the only way that I see it um, now it's the boundary lines that everybody thinks are you know so clean and cut that I have problems with uh, such as, for instance, you know, people always say, well, since I, you know, as you can see, I love my tattoos and my piercings. People have told me that I'm going to hell for destroying the body that God gave me. My belief is, is God gave me a body to worship him with, to do him homage. Well, I'm doing him homage because I have a perfect canvas for paintings to go on to my body permanently. I also have a perfect face, perfect facial features, I believe, for all the piercings of which I have. If God didn't want me to do this, if God had a huge problem with it, I really don't think it would be around. It would catch on so much. Not to, I mean, Do you see me getting struck down just because I have tattoos and piercings? No. And as a matter of fact, my tattoos pertain to him, pertain to God. Such as, my angel. I'm not sure if you can really see that well. I have a tattoo of an angel on my arm. Yes, the angel's wings are tattered and she is somewhat crying. This is true. Why? Because that's how I vision myself in God's eyes. 
I am one of his angels, I am one of his workers, but I have gotten a little lost. I have screwed some things up. I'm not perfect. I have my flaws. And that's why I had the, the angel's wings tattered and she's crying. Because I am tattered. I am lost. And really all that I can do about it is cry sometimes. I mean, in such a large world, that's all you can do. Or, for instance, my knuckles. God's love. See, everything that I'm putting on my body in somewhat of a way pays a small homage to him. But I am labeled evil, and not, not necessarily evil, but bad, because I have an obsession with putting tattoos and metal into my skin. I mean, the tat piercings can't really be portrayed too much except for the fact that it's customization of your body. So that's getting a little off track but yes I mean people say I'm going to hell because of the fact that I wear that I have piercings and tattoos and that's one of the lines of which I disagree with uh, another thing that I disagree with with the whole thing of heaven and hell is people saying that oh well if you do if you say for instance smoke or if you drink that you're going to hell mm, Jesus drank Hell, Jesus turned water into wine at a funeral. That was his, or not a funeral, a wedding. I apologize, a wedding. That was his first act. That was the first thing he did to show himself to the community. Once he changed water into wine. If God was that against drinking, would he create water, or create wine out of water? If he was that against drinking. Uh, other things of which that kind of I, I disagree with with the whole heaven and hell situation is people saying oh well if you listen to metal or if you listen to rap music or any of these different things you're going to hell because of it because of the lyrics of which they post the things of which they talk about you know what there is more to music than just the lyrics there is the creative side that comes out in the artist to create the music not to mention you know the lyrics are not supposed to be taken in a lot of times in a literal way I mean just because this artist says oh well, I'm gonna go out I'm gonna smoke me up some as much as I can I'm gonna have me a drink and then I'm gonna go out and party you know what I beat this girl yeah blah 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 which every artist is accused of being horrible because of do you actually see them going out and doing this I mean for instance like one of the people that's hated on tech nine He's hated on because he says some of the wildest shit people have ever heard. Do you see him going out there and throwing a bitch in the trunk? Beating the fuck out of her? No. Or metal music. You know, people people write it down off as wrong because in metal music, what they like to talk about, you know, death, destruction, da-da-da-da-da. And for listening to it, you're instantly labeled bad. That you're going to hell because that's what you listen to well you know what my argument to that is yes they're not that's not literal terms it's not something they're gonna do yeah people go out and have a drink I already touched on that yes I go out and party have some fun but you don't see me going around and doing crimes and shit just because that's what they said in a song yes there are people that go out and do that and you know what that might be what's bumping in their car when they did it but it's not because of the music that they did it um, in another, another topic on the heaven and hell thing is how, especially the radical Catholics and Christians, they like to read their own version of the fine print and they, their translation of the way that the Bible is supposed to be read gets thrown so epically out of proportion that it's ridiculous. Uh, for instance, uh, there was a lady that called into a radio station and freaked out because of a song that was playing. And when the radio DJ turned around, he said, well, I will pray for you. Will you pray for me? The woman immediately said, no, you are going to hell for listening to this. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I do have a horrible memory. But part of the Catholic Christian faith is that if you repent, you ask for God's forgiveness you will be saved, is it not? So, to who and from who were you given the power 
to say that just because I do a certain thing or listen to a certain thing that I am going to hell. You or nobody else has the right to damn me out of their own perspective. No one. And for those of you who do damn me and everybody else who is like me because of those things, I am sorry that you feel that way. I forgive you for the words that you have said and for the things that you will most likely say. But at the same time, you are no friend of mine. Please do not come around me. I have nothing to do with you. And if you come around me talking that bullshit, shit's going to happen. I mean... But I find it I find it awesome how these people who claim to be people of God are so judgmental. So... Oh, what's a good word for it? Just hurtful, cruel with the things that they say and do just because you're not following that fine line that they have dictated. And it's not even the words of God. It's not the words of Christ. It's what they are perceiving it as. They have taken the entire, the entire concept and twisted and contorted it into their own thing to, so far to the point where the whole meaning behind it is lost. There is a meaning behind redemption. It's called redemption for a reason. Yes, you did something wrong, but you are trying to be redeemed. You are asking for forgiveness. That's the whole point behind it, which also brings in the whole point of purgatory. Purgatory is the place where you are supposed to go to pay for your sins after death. Yes, it is long. It is excruciating. It is almost unbearable. Except for the fact of the knowledge that you know once you get through this, you are going to heaven. And that seems to be a large point that a lot of people have overlooked. I mean, these radicals, they come at you and they say all these different things when it is said in the Bible, first to remove the speck from your friend's eye, you must remove the log from your own eye. Uh, it seems to be nowadays, uh, that is actually an understatement. Uh, anymore, it's to remove the speck from your friend's eye. You must remove the entire fucking city that's blocking your eye. Because some of these people, they just come out of nowhere with the most insane shit. And they expect you to accept it. I mean, these radical Catholics and Christians, they shove God so far down your throat that it's almost as if it has a Beelzebub temptator right behind it. I mean, when you take that so far to a level that there is no God behind those words anymore. There is no religious intent anymore. It turns more to an evil than a good. I mean, when you push it so far, you're going to end up turning more people away from it than you are turning people into it. When you try and force something down somebody's throat, you're not helping that person to convert. What you're doing is damaging that person's belief in God and what little faith they did have. You're killing it. You cannot lead... You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. And that seems that seems to be something that people forget. You cannot force anything upon somebody. You can't force your belief in heaven and hell on somebody. All you can do is explain your thoughts on it. Now for me, I don't know where I'm going, honestly. I really don't. I am a good person. I can end up in heaven. I really could. I also have a bad streak in me. I have a little demon inside. We all do. Just some of us are too high and mighty to admit it. I can tell you right now, I have my problems. I did a lot of things that I shouldn't have. I still do. Why? Because I'm human. God all gave us the ability to choose our own different paths, to choose the things that we wanted to do. And you know what? God forbid the person who doesn't nowadays. Because if you have your own thoughts, if you have your own mind and your own personality, you are within the out crowd. You are looked down upon. You are spat upon. You are cast aside, shunned like a leper. And for me, I don't think that's right. So, that's really as much as I can think of for my first post. I uh, hope you guys have positive remarks about it. You know, if you hate it, whatever. I'm not going to get pissed at you for it. It's your, it's your prerogative. It's your perspective, man. But hopefully you like this. Hopefully I touched on something that you guys... Uh, have somewhat of same thoughts on or if you guys want to rebuttal it go for it i'm open for all of this this is my first round so i don't know how it'll go we'll see if you guys like it or not